continuing from the work from the last few days, I'm going to pull this remaining plants up next. So the first to go this morning is this Pachyveria myrtilla. And I'm going to use the same technique. Although this might be tricky because this is a rather large cultivar. I'll go ahead and do the check, the cup check, and see if I can shake and move the, the roots loose. But if not, I'll have to dig a bit around it so I can tease the roots out. Yeah, it looks like it's quite hard. So there's an alternative technique that I'm going to show you. The alternate technique requires a small spade. And what you're going to do is you just dig around, dig around the plant and hopefully you get to loosen the, the roots enough. So this is what I'm going to do now. I'm digging a few ways away from it and I just tilt the soil. Next, somewhere here, do it again. So it's moving now. And maybe here. I can hear some roots snapping. Maybe I could pull it up now. And here, look at the size of those roots. It's impressive. It will be going inside one of these larger clay pots. So these ones are only 17 centimeters in diameter. And this is, I think is 27. Or actually it's 25. But it's still large enough to fit the myrtilla. There's enough space around it. So this pot is perfect for it. There are three more plants here and I'm going to pull them up one by one in a bit. I'm finally done pulling them all up. And now I can transfer them into pots. If you remember my technique, I'm just going to set the plant like so and fill the gaps around it with soil. So now three of them are in the pots. But I haven't properly potted this myrtilla yet because I was thinking of using it as a replacement in the other bowl. So I'm going to keep it this way for now until I decide what to do with it later on. The next thing I will be working on is this bowl. One of the first things I have to do here is to remove all of the plants. But I can't remove the bowl from the ground because it's partially submerged. And it would be really hard to set it back again without, without destroying the rest of the landscape. So what I'll do is I'll just pull them up while inside the ground. I'm planning to replace the center rosette with something big so as to remain consistent with the other bowls. The other bowls have a large centerpiece. This capri in the middle is quite small and doesn't really look significant compared to the others. So, for a huge wow factor, I'm going to use this myrtilla. <coughs> Bless you, Zeki. So the first step to refreshing this bowl is to remove the plants from inside. I just have to slowly pull them out one by one. I'll start with this one. There, lots of roots. This is actually an imbricata, but since it's it was inside the pot, the growth was stunted and it, it has remained more or less the same size through the year. Because so I planted this last year, I think. So yeah, if you place them in small containers and they don't have room to grow, then they will be stunted and remain small. So now I have to do the same for the rest of them. I just have to slowly pull them up one by one. And I hope I don't damage any of them. It's 
quite hard. It's tricky to get to them, but I'll do it. There. I'll do it eventually. Slow and steady wins the race. Man, this is quite stubborn. I'll work on the others first. Whoa, those roots. I finally got the last one out. And now we have a bare pot. There's lots of plants from such a small bowl. One of the things I have to do is to refresh the soil in this bowl. So I'm going to get as much as I can and transfer them into this pot and I'm going to replace it with a new batch of soil. This is because I won't be able to replace it for another year I guess until I have to redo the bowl. So make sure that when you do bowls and you're going to leave them for a while to give them a fresh batch of soil, fertilize if needed. In my case I'm, I might need to fertilize it because it's already their growing season. It's spring now after all. When I made this bowl before, I put lots of rocks and pebbles at the bottom, thinking it will help with drainage. But apparently this is wrong. This is a myth. Although it's true that water flows faster through larger particles like rocks. But the thing is when you line them, line the bottom with rocks, it means that your soil layer is more shallow. And the way water works and the way the soil, the different medium works is that the water would have to saturate the soil medium first before it flows over to the rocks. So let's say you have, have it halfway or maybe one third filled with pebbles and then soil at the top. This means that the water will stagnate in the upper two thirds of the layers first before it, uh, it sinks into the, the bottom layer, bottom one third with the pebbles. So in this case, I'm going to remove all of them and just fill the whole thing with soil. I've completely emptied the bowl and I can start replacing the soil now. Unfortunately, I have some social obligations, so it's already night time, but I'm going to push on. I'm going to start working on this bowl, and I hope I would be able to do much tonight. I'm a bit time conscious because according to the forecast, it's although it's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow, the day after it would start raining. Or at least there would be some showers so I want I want the bowl to be done before then I should give give it enough time 
to settle down while it's still dry because otherwise some of the plants might rot so we'll see I hope I can do this tonight as I have previously noted I'm thinking of using this Pachyviria myrtilla as a centerpiece but before I do that I'm going to harvest some of the leaves from this flower stalk there's a few growing here there I could probably use this for propagation this myrtilla has a, a really huge root ball I might trim off a few a few centimeters off but I'd like to keep it as thick as I can because that way it won't stunt the growth because I want I want it to continue growing all inside the bowl and I don't want the other plants to take up all of the space so at least by having by this having a big root ball it has already reserved enough space for it while the others find their way around it I'm using my usual technique where I just set it down and put enough soil so it can stand on its own that way that way I still have a hand free to take videos as I'm doing now and another hand with this mini shovel to put soil around the base There's finally enough soil inside the bowl and as I'm looking at it right now it looks pretty enough on its own and if you look at the overall design it makes a good complement because if you look at this bowls the rosettes the echeveres are individual and I only top dress the soil this one here this is the, the tallest of the, the highest of the bowls so it's all right that there's enough or there's lots of plants filled around it so I'm contemplating whether I should do the same treatment as this as this one so just top dress the soil with pebbles or I also have the option of surrounding it or, or filling it up with ground cover sedums so something that just trails and is really low maybe some of this lime lime yellow colored ones or some of the green ones which I can find right now this one I think I'm going to go with this option because I really like how this lime ones are growing yes I think I'm going with this option this is the bowl where I keep the rest of my sedums I'll just have to take a few cuttings well not just a few but more than a few and stick them in the soil around the around the Pachyviria myrtilla and hopefully in time it will fill it fill around it much in the same way as this one see how much clump the growth is I'm done sticking some cuttings in and I really like the contrast between them so this is bright pinkish red maroon I guess and this is yellow turning more lime and once they get more Sun especially during the warmer months I wonder how much vibrant they will turn again because this have been in the shade for the past for the past couple weeks could be really nice to see what happens when they settle I really like the growth pattern once it goes like this so imagine that that full inside the bowl these are the succulents I pulled out from the bowl and I'm going to plant what I can now 
and work on the rest on another day. I am done potting up most of them and they're in front of me. There's still a few more to go. Most of the remaining ones have really long roots. So these ones can be trimmed further just to fit the bowls or I mean the pots that I'm going to put them in. Oh, this is a nice jade. It's pretty stressed. Unlike this other one. <laughs> I think it was in the same bowl. But from another spot. No, I think this was in the in the back and this was in the front. And in the front it was getting more sun. Yeah, I think that might explain the difference in colors. Oh, and then there's some like this one whose stem is quite long. I'll have to chop it off here and see if the, the stem would give me some pops. So I'm just going to do beheading on this one like how I did the others. I have this small clump. Came from one plant and it's, it branched out. I think at first it wanted to crest. I'm not sure if I should separate them now because they, they look small. Maybe I'll keep them in one pot. And there's this jelly beans. Came from one stalk. But the the main stalk looks dry. So maybe I'm going to pluck these two and stick them in soil. This might stimulate their growth. As mentioned, I trimmed the roots of this aeonium. That way it would be easier to plant it in the pot. It looks like I'm finally done potting them all up. 